Hey there guys, this is Silent Mist, and welcome back to Dungecraft. Ah uh, ha ha, I've been spending so much time on this server, so much time that I haven't even been playing on Red Cubed. Weesh. But, you know, FTB, I've been having lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of fun. But that's not what you hear today. You're not here to talk, hear me talk about how much fun I'm having. You're here to watch me do what I normally do. And what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to be moving all of our solar power somewhere else. We're going to be actually moving it up here. I prepared this area for all of my solar power. Um, all of the stuff that generates EU is going to be right here with a couple leads going down there. And then all of the other stuff is going to be over here, which is going to be consuming a huge amount of space. But you know what? Here's me not caring. Just kidding. I do care. But we're also going to need... Uh, oh, messages. We're doing a bunch of things. And oh, you ready? If we press tab, you'll get to see who's on. Okay, I'm not going to say who was on, but if you saw it, you saw it indeed. But um, oh, yeah. So, a couple things since the last part, actually, before we get started. I managed to make one more high-voltage solar array out of the five... The five, uh solar panels that we already had the four the five medium voltage ones that we had and then I was able to make four more so I'm out of tin and copper for the most part I have a little bit of tin left but I'm pretty sure I'm like flat out out of copper so I need to be I, I need to reestablish my strip mi not my strip mines my uh, quarries because those are currently no longer running so yeah I'm tempted to actually like do some stuff with some fillers but I don't know if fillers keep the chunks they are in loaded and if they don't, then it's definitely not going to work because fillers work much faster than quarries. But, like I said, that is not what you guys are here for today. You guys are here to see me do my crazy, crazy, oh-so-crazy stuff. So, for the most part, all of this is going to be torn down because I would like to have a nice, beautiful-looking house out here instead of this uh, very, oh, very industrial-looking... Uh, can I break this with my hands? This extraordinarily industrial-looking area out here I it, I don't think it looks good so we're gonna be tearing it down after we do all that crazy stuff and man when I break blocks I don't know what it is but when I break blocks my frame rate just tanks oh FTB you and your infinite bugginess we still love you but still you're quite 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 annoying Ugh, man that is that is pretty bad um, I actually need to grab some wool from the sheep. Let's do that right now. Before we can do that, we need to, uh, we need to do something. What is that something that we need to do? Oh, yeah, there's a portal there. It goes somewhere. That somewhere is a secret. But, um, we need to make ourselves a pair of shears because I think we need this in order to move our blutricity more effectively if we're going to be moving a lot of it at once. So, let me quickly just run over here now what there are different types of uh blue alloy wiring like see if i can find it nope that's not it wire this stuff like you have 10 kv wire and 1 mv wire now i'm not sure how you're supposed to oh well that's how you make that stuff how do you make this stuff yeah i don't know how you make this stuff um but that's like iterations of the blue alloy wire that are better and I'm assuming that you can only move so much energy through a blue alloy wire at once. So, yeah, where are all my sheep going? I had so many more sheep here. Are they like, they can't escape, can they? Oh, no, they can't get out right there. Yeah, I don't know where my sheep are going, but they are disappearing. Let me just get rid of this stuff and maybe, maybe that'll solve some problems. But stupid sheep. Oh, he's going to grow his wool back. Give me your wool. We're going to need a bunch of this so we can jack at our blue alloy wire because we're going to be stuffing quite a bit of power. Well, there's a sheep. How the heck did you get out? Now, uh, you're not supposed to be out, so I'm sorry, but you're going to have to die. Thank you. Do we have any more sheep? Any more sheep that want to uh, die a cruel and painful death? Yes, no, maybe so. I guess not. So, yeah. Been been having fun. I, I made a bunch of Lapatron crystals yesterday because we are in need of portable power. And by a bunch, I mean I made way more than I'm ever going to need, but, you know, that's my philosophy. I took about a stack and a half of diamonds and turned them all into Lapatron crystals. Is this all of it? I don't think this is all of it. There might be a few more lying around my base. But yeah, plenty of portable power now that we have a high-voltage solar array going, and we have two of them. We are generating roughly 40,000 
EU per second, which is 1,000 per tick. Wait, no, that'd be 20,000. My bad. Because there are 20 ticks per second in Minecraft. Yeah, 20,000 sounds more accurate. What am I saying? 40,000. Silly me. But man, this... Why does this kill my frame rate so much? Does it just not like the particles? I mean, really? That is... That is detrimental to my gameplay. Hot damn, that was laggy. I shouldn't move all of them now that I think about it because we're going to be uh, needing... Well, actually, no, we're not going to need power to move stuff because all the power is going to be situated in our base. I take what I said back. Oh, God. It's Andrew Punk. The guy that I dub other Andrew because he is another Andrew and he also calls me other Andrew, so we are both other Andrews to one another. Crazy stuff, eh? It is indeed. But yeah, man, I am just having a blast breaking these darn solar panels because I have so many of them and obviously the most fun thing that we could do is break them. But wouldn't it be a little strange if like one day or the, during this part I just came back and it was just like, hey guys, all of my solar panels no longer exist. GG, no re. I don't actually play League of Legends so I don't actually know what that means, but uh... Good game, no redo, no replay, no re-potato. Oh, I crushed all of my, or not all of it, I crushed about half of my obsidian into crushed obsidian because it is the, apparently it is like the most durable item in the game in terms of blocks. And from what I read on the wiki, it's supposed to be able to stop nuclear explosions, but I tested that out and it did not stop nuclear explosions. So I am slightly confused as to what it can do but it is not affected by obsidian it acts like sand and it's supposed to be extraordinarily durable so something is something is there and I'm just trying to double check to make sure that I have no more solar panels in these chests it wouldn't surprise me if I did have a couple more but I am starting to think that I indeed do not have any more I'm starting to think that, that is a very safe assumption but yeah, in the next couple of parts, I want to start working on my quantum armor. Or at least, well, I can get a full nano suit up, but <clears throat> that wouldn't be hard at all. Actually, we could do that right now if we wanted to, but that is not what I want to do right now. So, we need some blue electric wire and blue alloy wire, my bad. And don't tell me that. I don't want to look through all these chests again. There's 8 and 64. That's more than enough. I think it only combines to a, in a 1 to 1 ratio. Yeah. That is unfortunate. We're going to need a lot more of that. So, sheep, you're going to need to uh, grow your wool back. Oh, look. One of you guys already did. How nice. Yeah, so for right now, I only have... I think I have either one or two quarries running. I want to say only one quarry running right now. So we're not actually getting a lot of materials, so we don't really need to worry about things overflowing for at least a little while. But I do need to get everything situated. Um, and let me give you guys a little rundown of what I want to do. So if we head on over here, down here actually, so this area in here is going to be a resource area. It's going to be holding all of my stuff. Um, I'm going to be covering this all up with those panels, the uh, really thin panels, because I think it'll look nice to not have to see all that stuff. But this will be holding all of like the basic resources, all of my stone, all of the dirt, just the majority of the stuff. Um, I'm going to probably set up a sorting system of sorts. But this is going to be like all of the expendable building blocks, like all that stuff, all, all that stuff right there. Um, I'm going to be holding all of my ores and whatnot, probably in a different area, but I'm also, what the hell was that? I'm also going to be, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I lost my train of thought after I heard the explosion. Everything's okay. These two things are okay. That's all I really care about. That right, right here. I'm standing on top of like 12,000 blocks of iron right now, or iron ingots right now. These these two each take roughly 6,000 to make, if I recall. I think it's like 5,800 something. So that's where all of my iron, copper, tin, and everything else went. It's a little absurd, but you know, I'm all for absurdities. Those are the most fun of things to have. But I need to go over here, and I think there's something that I need to grab. Yes, the other high voltage transformer, that's what I needed. Uh, and then here's where I was making my crystals and everything. My Lapatron crystals and those red crystally crystals. 
Uh, what did I want to do? I came over there to grab this high voltage transformer. We're going to just tear down this stuff right here. So bam, 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 and bam. All this stuff is no longer needed over here. So you just click this a bunch of times and eventually it breaks all of our power. Uh, good, we didn't lose anything. Now, can you break these with this? Yes, you can. You can actually break these with a pickaxe, too. Just just saying. And now our entire factorization area... This isn't even factorization. There's an actual mod called factorization. But the entirety of my industrial industries is... Industrial industries. My industry has shut down. There is currently nothing that it can or will be doing. Depressing, is it not? So let's see, I'm gonna need to figure out how I'm gonna arrange this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that'll be a nice. Yeah, I think this'll work out in a way that I like it. Oh, how long is that? That is seven. That is unfortunate. Looks like we'll just have to stick with a six by six blob of this, which should still give us way, or this'll be actually a 13 by 13 when all is said and done. But this should give us more than enough space to put all of our current solar panels and then all of the solar panels that we will have in the future. Because I don't think we're going to need that much of this stuff. Although, if we do continue to use blue alloy for or yeah, blue electric furnaces, then we will definitely need to do an upgrade to this in the future. But like I said, that's going to be a while away, so no need to worry about that. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to figure out how I can arrange this so we can put in some light. But I don't want to have too much light because it's just not necessary. Ah, uh, yes. Man, like I've said, I've been having so much fun playing on this. We were actually going to record something together as a group today. But silly me getting my time zones mixed up. I I missed the majority of it. I was late by an hour. Um, whoops. That makes it like the second time in a row. Man, I always feel bad when I do that. Like, because I know I make them wait. And it's just like, ah. Uh, Guys, I thought that you were four hours after me, not five hours. Or, not three hours. So that was a little annoying, but all's good. All is good. Let's see. Now I need to stick in those torches that we picked up into those spots. So a torch right here and a torch right here. This is just so mobs don't spawn. This doesn't actually power the uh, power these as far as I know. As far as I know, I mean, maybe they do, and maybe I'm just crazy, but pretty sure they don't actually supply any power. I'd like to make this symmetrical, at least while we do not have enough of these panels. We can still make it look cool, so this will be one, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to be one short. Good thing there are a couple of more that are out and down there. Oh, this is not supposed to be here. But this torch is supposed to be right here. Look at our beautiful solar array. And it's almost daytime? Really? Must have been almost nighttime before we started. So we got this right here. Oh, break these. Yeah, we have plenty of these. We have so many of these. I made way... Well, no, I did not make way too many of these. Uh, I actually have pretty close to what's just right to... Uh, allow me to power all of my furnaces throughout the night without them shutting down. So I have just the right amount of stuff. Crazy, ain't it? Ain't it? Oh, there's more over there. Good, good, good. We can, we can move all of it. Move all of it at once. You know what I've realized? Half of these episodes have been focused on solar power, and I just love solar power so much. I mean, oh no. It's probably one of the... It's like the hallmark, at least to me, of FTB. Well, no, actually it isn't. To me, Tech It and FTB, like the hallmark is just doing things. Just, that, I, I can't put it in any better terms, just doing things. And in order to do those things, they need power. So how do you power it? Solar panels, yay. Am I the only one that thinks that way? Maybe, maybe so. Get out of there, Torch, you are not needed. Hmm. Now what do we do? We have 12 of these. Uh, let's see. We can do one, two, three. Ah, oh, this dark tree is in the way. No, we can't. I could just cut that tree down. It's not even like in the way. It's not even doing anything. So I'll just have to remember to cut that down. 
one, two, three, and finally, there we go. Now, this is where we're going to be using the 10 kilovolt wire. Maybe not. Okay, maybe this is, I, I don't know how we actually use that fancy wire, but maybe this is not where we use it. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you have to hook that up to a bat box, or maybe hook that up to this t this kind of wiring. But what does that do? Does that hook up to this kind of wiring? No. How the heck do you use this stuff? I don't know. I am just a confused child right now. And how do we want to bundle this going down? Uh, ooh, slowly. There we go. Just like that. Voila. And that's how you uh, that's how you miss. Half of the wires that you are trying to place. Man, flying with a jetpack, while nice, it is super cumbersome. I'm trying to think. There, I don't think there's any alternative to the bat to the jetpack that isn't the uh, or to the electric jetpack. I think there's another jetpack that you can use fuel to power, but it's the exact same thing. It just gets powered by fuel. So what's the point? There isn't, and that's where they get you. Um, let me see how. These aren't getting full yet because the retrievers still have some power. No, these... Oh, yeah, those retrievers. I'm just like, wait. Uh, let me tone down the retrieving rate so these things last for even longer. We can just set that to once per second. And I think we'll have plenty of time to do that. Uh, let's see. So what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I was going to grab all my battery boxes so we could get that set up. Uh, we have a ton of these, and these are all fully charged, too, which is very nice. We can actually leave one of these down here for now so this stuff continues to retrieve while it does not have any active... Oh, no, I should have left that one. I like how these things retain their charge. It is a very nice addition. Um, oh, yeah, I already tore that stuff down. We should go put that up there. Now we There are a lot of things that we need to do, and that is currently not one of them. Why did we get glass from that these things can't hold items can they <laughs> if they can that would be a little strange ah <sighs> sheepy sheep you ready you ready for shaving time because it is shaving time in the house oh yeah take that sheep mmm sheep ah <sighs> let's see I don't know Man, I hate it when I run out of things to say. I have midterms next week, but I've said that already a couple of times. I am not looking forward to that. Ugh, midterms. I Okay, who's, who's messaging? Ah, who's messaging me? Why am I so important suddenly? Well, I'm, I mean, <laughs> that's a bit of a rhetorical question if I do say so myself. Just kidding. I, I kid you. Uh, let me go quickly. Oh, is it nighttime or is it going to daytime? Maybe it's raining. I don't know. But we do need to plop down our stuff right here. So we'll have an advanced diamond drill. Take care of that. Okay, that just eats everything like there is no tomorrow. Ooh. Eh, die. Die, drills. Not today. Well, too bad. Uh, so let's see. We need the MFSU. We need to have the MFSU will be up here. We'll have one right up here. Um, huh, let me go get some of that obsidian stuff because I do not want anything ever happening to this. So we're going to build like a small little obsidian or crushed obsidian wall. Uh, let me get rid of these seeds myself. Also, what am I trying to say? My seeds myself also. What does that even mean? So, uh, let's see. I'm assuming this will be... I'll, I'll be making a few more of these high-voltage solar arrays because while my current power situation is beyond that of fantastic, there's always the future. So, yeah, I'll, I'll make this, like, 5x5. Five five. That'll give us room for, like, 24 of them. Not 25 because we need the... Uh, actually, it could be 25 if we wanted it to. But, um... Yeah, let's... This needs to be... One bigger. Uh, gotta be careful when using this thing or else you're gonna just tear away everything else that goes with it. Eh. Oh, it's dead. Yeah, these things don't last for long. That's why I need to make an, adv Ooh, I need to make an advanced lap pack. 
think there's a block there that shouldn't exist. Oh, wait. I already broke the solar panels. Silly me. So let's just go over here. We can get our first couple of them play. Ah. Ah. Game. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't. You can't do that. No, don't do that. There we go. So those three just didn't break, I guess. And then we should ooh, go back. Then on top of that, we'll place that. And then on top of that, we will place our oh-so-precious high-voltage solar array. Yeah, we're just going to be uh, turning all of this into, like... Oh, it's not daytime. Crap. We don't have any power. Looks like we'll have to use this. Huh. Oh, but we don't have a shovel, do we? Not on us. No, we do not. Crackers and milk. How is our jetpack doing? We need to be a little conservative with that before or while we wait for everything to happen. Let's see. Grab my shovel. Wonder how quickly it diamond her this shovel will break the uh crushed obsidian. Man, this stuff's so durable. Oh man, it barely even taps it. You gotta use the uh Gotta use the drill. That thing is a necessity to success in the land of silent mist and his stuff. What the heck did I just say? I don't even know myself. Okay, but whatever. Um, so we need to rip this all out and put down some crushed obsidian. So yeah, this stuff is just blast proof. So I'm doing this so we can make like a little wall out of it. So, in the event of a creeper exploding in the nearby area, it will not in any way affect this stuff over here. Because we do not ever want to have a creeper explode near one of our high voltage arrays. That would be a very, very, very disheartening thing to happen. Have happen. Hey. <laughs> what else can we talk about? I don't know. I think we have officially run out of things to say. Oh, herp derp. So I finally beat Persona 4. Persona 4 Gold. The Golden. Oh my god, I can't wait for Persona 5. You, oh. Oh man, that was such a fantastic game. I think that game just took its spot as my favorite game of all times. I think it just took Luminous Arc out of spot number one and said, sorry, you're going to spot number two. So because of that, I've I've had this like huge urge to to start bleh, this huge urge to start playing JRPGs again. So I am going to be playing a couple of more Shin uh, Shin Megami Tensei that Shin Megami Tensei games. Um, I'm play bleh, bleh, bleh. I cannot talk. Preparing to play, preparing to play. I'm getting ready to start playing Nocturne. I think that's what it's called, which looks like a pretty darn good game. Um, I think Knights of the Nightmare. No. Knights of the Nightmare is something completely different. I want to start playing that. That looks like a fun game also. But yeah, I, I'm just... That game was beyond... Persona 4 Gold was just beyond fantastic. It was just easily one of the best, if not the best game that I've ever played. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts. If you guys have a Vita, or heck, if you have a PS2, get, get Persona 4. Or if you have a Vita, get Persona 4 The Golden. It... It is definitely one of the best games, if not the best game, that I've ever played. And, I mean, it gets fantastic ratings for a reason. I mean, it's, like, five-star all over the place for a reason. And that would be because it is absolutely 100% amazing. Um, so, now, just to demonstrate that what I have done is not, indeed, a waste of time, we're going to be taking... I need some more torches. Where are my torches? I can't wait to have this all organized so I don't need to, like, spend 15 minutes going through my chests just to figure out what I need. But just to prove to you that this thing is working, guys, let me just take my TNT. And then we're going to go right over here. And we're going to detonate my TNT right next to... Okay, not next to the tree because the tree can, can take damage. We'll just detonate TNT right here. And I will show to you that nothing bad shall befall our stuff. Ouch. That hurts. 
But nothing bad happened. This stuff is like obsidian, but better. Not as good as a nuke, though. Although nukes are fun. Love nukes. Because they don't actually do any terrain damage, but I don't know if all the members know that. I know Pyro didn't know that at the time that we pulled the prank on him. Have you guys seen that? I haven't seen that yet. He hasn't posted it yet. That just shows you how far ahead I am of recording. I think I'm like four days ahead of Dungecraft. The, uh, four days ahead of when videos get posted for Dungecraft because I've just been having so much fun. So I believe this is part... Hmm, this might be part 13 or four, uh, 13 or 12. And today part like 8 came out. Yesterday part 8 came out. Today part 9 is coming out. Silly me. Just light this area up. And then let's see, we're gonna need we're gonna need her wire. I think I don't know if we need to use high voltage wire down or Yeah. Her four times insulated high voltage wire. We're gonna have to use that, I think. Ugh. Don't wanna fall to our death. Um let's see. Somewhere in here, I promise you there is some high voltage wiring. I do remember making it. It was very annoying, as is all high voltage wiring. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything in here. Nope. What does Ferrisaur looked or used for? I still don't know what. You, wait, is that tin? No, that's light zychloride. I I smelted half of my zychloride. Although why it's not being put back in here is beyond. Oh, it's dead. Hurt. I'm just like, why isn't it going? But it's dead, and dead things don't go. Uh, where is my four times high voltage cabling, cabling, cable stuff? I don't want to make more of that stuff. That stuff is beyond annoying to make. It's just like, let's bundle it. Let's bundle it again. Let's bundle it one more time. Oh, wait, I know where it is. I think it's in here, if I recall. Yeah, I got... Someone's been leaving, like, portal guns at my house. I don't know why. I, I have a atlas gun in here, and then there's a potato gun in one of those other chests. So, someone has been leaving me but portal potatoes. Potato portals. How's this doing on power? Perfectly fine. But I don't know where my four times insulated high-voltage wiring is, and I really don't want to make it again. Let me up. Please? Can I, can I please have it? No. Eh, I guess not, because we do need, well, I do need that, but I don't know where it is. But instead of looking through my chest, I think I'm just going to end off the part here, guys. And in the next one, we will continue to make our base look a little bit better. I mean, ugh, that entire thing needs to be all torn out. So I'll be working on that in pieces at a time. But for now, like I said, that is going to be all. I hope you did enjoy this part, and in the next one, maybe we'll work with some nuclear power because I do need some backup power for when it's not actually daying out or when it's when it's something not... Well, when I can't generate solar power and when I need power power because it rains a lot on the server. So I figure having a nuclear reactor would be quite beneficial to our power and of course I'd make it something super safe it'd just be one generator that has two pieces of uranium cells in it it doesn't even need cooling it just works forever until the uranium cells need to be refined but guys like I said that is going to be all once again I'm just going to end it here goodbye I hope you enjoyed the seawall later bye